Hey there, welcome back. So in this video I'm gonna be doing more of my add-ons and the configuration on each one of them. First off is gonna be lose control. Now this add-on is great for two reasons. It will help you track every debuff you want and it will also let you set priorities on it and you can move around where it's gonna show and you can even make it adapt to the frames that Blizzard has, like your target frame, your focus frame. Like any other add-on, press escape, go to interface and add-ons and once you click on lose control, this is what you'll find. The first thing you will notice is the unlock ability. By default, the debuffs on you will be in the middle of your screen and for your target and focus will be on top of the frame. If you wanna move it, that's fine. For me, that was perfect. Then you will have the priority list. For me personally, I just uh, put zero on the stuff I can power shift. But if you want the add-on to display them, the then just leave the default settings for it. So if you click on the plus sign right by where it says lose control, you will see that each possible tracking has its own configuration. You can change the size and the anchor. So the two options are none and blizzard. If you put blizzard, then it will automatically lock it on to where the blizzard frame is. If you put none, then it will be in the middle and you can move it wherever you like. It also lets you change the size and the opacity. But I mean, if you lock it onto Blizzard, it will be the size of the frame that you already have. So, I mean, that was good for me, but if you need to tweak it a little, feel free to do so. Now, Omni CC. This add-on is great. What it does is it will put little numbers on basically everything that could be tracked and you can limit this in multiple ways but first things first and you want to enable them that's the first option and then you want them to fit the frame because you don't want huge numbers popping out everywhere but this is kind of default also i would like to see the models of my cooldowns because i'm very visual like that and finally, I don't know the difference between optimized performance or not, but you know, optimized is probably better. You can also move the, where the text is. Um, I set it to the middle, which is basically a default because I don't know, why wouldn't you want them to be in the middle? But still, I'm gonna show you how it looks like if you move it around. Um, I don't know, why would you want to move it around? but you can. And you can also change the text style. I'm not big on this. I left the default. That's it. There's also the finish effect. Once the timer reaches zero, if it's a skill you have on your attack bar, then it will do a little effect. I really like the pulse one. This is flare. And there are a couple of others that, to me, they look the same. I won't go over them. The really important thing to know about Omni CC is that you can make it not track every single thing in your WoW. If you put your mouse over here, in minimum size to display text, it will have a little tooltip. So it says right there, like 100 is for action bars and everything under 100. If you set it under 100, then you will not see it on your action bars. If you set it under 80, you will not see it on the frames. And if you set it under 55, you will not see the numbers anywhere. The minimum duration to display text, I've set it to three seconds, so uh, it won't show if it's under three seconds, like global cooldowns, for example. There's also the millisecond timer. I don't like it, but if you do, then you can set that to, I don't know, maybe one second so that it shows just when things are going under a second, when they're like right about to go out of cooldown. And this add-on also works with lose control, so you will also have a timer on CCs and whatnot. 
Maybe the millisecond timer is a little bit more useful there. Then there's also the minute and second timer. For me, that's a little bit of overkill. I rather it say just one minute or two minutes or whatever, instead of being like two minutes and 23 seconds and two milliseconds. For me, that's just too much info. But if you rather have it, then slide the bar up. And the finish effect bar is really nice because if you set it low enough, then it will flash every time anything is out of cooldown. And that's good for characters that have like a rotation that depends on those cooldowns. But I've set it to 30 because that's really good for Tiger's Fury and, you know, the bigger cooldowns. And yeah, that's basically all there is to Omni CC. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it, and see you guys soon. Peace!